Let's talk about blood products in the NICU. When I was a new grad, I was confused by the indications and the differences of these different blood products, so let's talk about it. Four main types of products you're gonna see are PRBCs, your packed red blood cells, your platelets, your FFP, your fresh frozen plasma, or your cryo. The most common is your PRBCs, packed red blood cells, these are going to be used when your baby is anemic, when your H&H &H is low, when you need to replace volume, let's say you're doing multiple blood draws off of this baby, or when you need to increase your oxygen carrying capacity. So if this baby is in respiratory failure, fighting a severe infection, if they have significant injury, because remember, red blood cells have hemoglobin, hemoglobin carries oxygen, so if we need to increase that, sometimes the baby might need a little bit of extra PRBCs. Second is platelets. Platelets are obviously going to be given when your platelet count is low, but why do we care about that? Remember, platelets are the little ones that stick together to form a blood clot. So if your baby is platelet deficient, they will not be able to clot, which puts them at an increased risk for bleeding. Think about things like IVH. In my head, the next two go together, FFP and cryo. Fresh frozen plasma is going to be what happens when you take a blood sample, you run it through the centrifuge and you separate the whole blood versus plasma and you're left with that yellowy liquid. That yellow liquid is your FFP. FFP is going to have all of the clotting factors that are found in blood. So this is typically given when a baby has an active bleed that we are trying to stop because we need those clotting factors to trigger the clotting cascade. It's not going to increase your H&H, &H, it's not gonna increase your platelet count, but it can improve an abnormal DIC panel and it can help clot a bleed. Now cryo is what we get if we thaw the FFP, run it through the spinning machine again and separate it down even further. It's going to give very specific clotting factors to the baby. In the NICU, we typically give cryo if a baby is unable to make fibrinogen themselves. Fibrinogen is what creates that mesh framework for a clot to even occur. Now fibrinogen is created in the liver, so cryo is going to be given in cases of liver failure or DIC. It is important to note that the volume of cryo is very small, so you're not gonna see your baby's blood pressure improve after a cryo administration because it's not a volume expander. PRBCs are by far the most common. I've only given cryo a handful of times, but hopefully that helps you understand the different blood products. And if you see your lab panel in your providers ordering certain things, you kinda know why.